we were what they call the operational group, the fighting group, battalion group, the 2671st OSS battalion. The OSS was a secretive unit. My uncle's group, they had to be Italian. They were looking for ethnic individuals that spoke the language so they can put behind the lines and work with partisan forces. They never forgot that they were Italian-American, but the American part was important to them. And at that point, your country's at war, you're American, there's nothing else to ask. Our job was specifically a sabotage. It said, you're gonna be involved in a parachuting, you're gonna be behind the lines. That was the job of the outfit. I spent my time doing the, what had to be done. I was proud to be who I was, American soldier. It took 50 years, 50 years for these guys to be fully recognized. And my uncle, thank God, was alive to be one of, I think, two or three guys that were actually there to receive this unit medal. All the adult males in my family were always great inspirations for me. We had these role models that had been in World War I, World War II, and Korea, and these guys also were part of Knights of Columbus. Half of my family tonight, love you tonight. All my family nights. We joined uh, about, about 1951 in Newark, New Jersey. We kept busy. The local one here is beautiful. We do a lot of work here too. When it became our, our age group, my uncle came to me before I went in the, in the Army. He said, you know, it's time for you to join the Knights of Columbus. They instilled in you a desire to serve, a desire to be like they were. So the, the legacy was passed down. We loved the Knights of Columbus. Have the people, wherever they needed us, we went. Charity number one. <laughs>